Your heart is a muscle that works continuously, much like a pump. Each beat of your heart is set in motion by an electrical signal from the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node. The SA node is in the right atrium, one of the two upper chambers of your heart. The electrical signal spreads across the cells of your heart's right and left atria. This signal causes the atria to contract and pump blood through the open valves from the atria into both ventricles. The signal arrives at the atrial ventricular node, also known as the AV node, near the ventricles. Here it slows for an instant to allow your heart's right and left ventricles to fill with blood. The signal then moves along the bundle of Hiss, located in your heart's ventricles. From the bundle of Hiss, the signal fibers divide into left and right bundle branches, which run through your heart's septum. The signal leaves the left and right bundle branches through the Purkinje fibers that connect directly to the cells of the walls of your heart's ventricles. The signal spreads quickly across your heart's ventricles. As the signal spreads across the cells of the ventricle walls, both ventricles contract, pushing blood through the pulmonary valve to your lungs and through the aortic valve to the rest of your body. As the signal passes, the walls of your heart's ventricles relax and wait for the next signal. However, in Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, a form of supraventricular tachycardia, the heart does not work this way. Instead, the heart's electrical signal re-enters the atria over an abnormal extra pathway that bypasses the normal electrical system. This extra pathway allows electrical signals to pass between the ventricles and the atria. Signals on this extra pathway disrupt the normal timing of the heart's electrical system, causing the atria and the ventricles to beat too fast. In patients with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome who have symptoms or a concerning family history, electrophysiology study and catheter ablation may be recommended. Thank you.